Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me in my exploration of the wide world of pens. Today's a special day. I got a package from Santini in Italy. Yes, it came uh, UPS and it was delivered in a couple days. And it is just a single nib, no commercial value. So let's open up the box and see what may have been sent to me. So inside the box was this smaller box, which you may recognize from my first video. And inside of this box is a nib. And there's a story behind this nib. So let's take a little trip backwards in time, and then we'll come back to the nib. And you see before you, I'd say the best pen I have now is the Santini Italia Libra Caribbean. I've done two reviews on this. This review is not going to be as enjoyable, at least it's not for me. So I originally put the flex nib in here and then I swapped it out for the cursive italic and I really enjoyed writing with the cursive italic. But as we open up the pen now, it's back to the flex nib. And you may ask why. Well, the squeamish might want to turn away because this is what the cursive italic nib looks like now. Yes, it is bent. And no, I did not drop it on the floor. This was done by writing on the reverse side. I've never had a nib do that. Some people watching me write say I have a heavy hand, and I guess this is a good indication of having a heavy hand. Certainly an indication of how soft that nib is. Thankfully, I contacted Santini, and um, we're going to be returning the nib, and they will either... Uh, repair it or fix it. It will be missed, but I certainly am enjoying the Superflex. I'm glad I got two nibs with the pen. So this nib was tested and I do like the way it writes. Those of you that saw my first video and it just has a great flair to it nice ink flow so i'll be happy to put this back into my libra caribbean so i think santini makes very beautiful nibs that's a nice bit of tipping material there nicely ground and ebonite feed and they come in these nib assemblies which again makes it easy to Swap nibs in and out of your Santini pens. Yep, it does look nice. Let's see how it writes. I just can't live by one ink alone. So this is the new ink that's in the Santini pen. It's my first Three Oysters ink. And so far, I'm very happy with it. Great looking bottle. And we'll take a look at the bottle. It has a little cutout on one corner. So when you're filling it, you can have it at an angle and get every last drop of ink out of it. Looks like it has to do with some type of forest color. Let me uh, see if I can translate that. And there's that cut edge that allows you to put it into an angle. I like the bottle. The color card is very green and the chromatography is very interesting. A lot of colors there. It looks like there might be a little bit of water resistance, but that's one of the more interesting chromatographies I've seen recently. But the real important thing is how does it work in the pen? So here's my beautiful Santini Italia. Libra, Caribbean, Ebonite, P2 
piston fill pen. I've been using this daily since I got it. It has uh, been a major player in every letter that I've written since I've got this pen. And that little misfortune that I had with the nib was in the middle of writing a letter. But then I just swapped out that flexi cursive italic and swapped in the super flexi. And we're going to write with the super flexi now to show you how that writes before we go to the cursive italic. Let's see how it puts down that three oysters ink. It works well. I mean, you can railroad it, but if you take your time and don't overdo it, it does a very nice job. And it's just a bouncy nib. I enjoy that. And I enjoy the fact that with a little pressure, it just opens up. This is close to vintage flex as I've ever had in a modern pen. So let's move on to the cursive italic that I just got back. We unscrewed the super flexi and put in the cursive italic flex. One of my viewers said they couldn't unscrew the nib in their Santini pen. And when I first swapped nibs, it took a little bit of effort to get out the first nib that was in there, which was the Super Flexi, so I had to grip it and have a decent amount of feedback and control over my hands, at least some of the time, and eventually the nib unscrewed, and there was uh, a decent amount of gel that they'd put in there to make certain everything was watertight and secure, so when I uh, put in or take out a nib, I'll use silicone grease on the threads, and at the end of that nib assembly so everything seals up nice and you don't get ink between the nib assembly and the section. I mean this pen is just super comfortable in the hand. It has become my most favorite writer and also a decent looker. Let's see that cursive italic lay down that three oysters ink. Stage, but it's very, very special because if you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to 11. Look, right across the board, oh. 11, oh, 11, and most of 11, the and then amps go up to 10. Exactly. This nib is absolutely superb. I'd originally given this nib an 11, it's now an 11 plus. Ah. It's just a pleasure to write with. I enjoy writing with this. The Super Flexi is a 10 out of 10. This is an 11 out of 10. So they're both great nibs. I'm very, very happy that I tried out Santini and now I'm enjoying writing with it. As with all italic nibs, and the cursive italic is no exception, it is going to be sensitive to angle. You need to make certain you keep it on the paper, but that's fine. It makes me have more motor control. So now I'm very happy. I have my two nibs and my Santini, and who knows, maybe in my future there might be another Santini pen. Thank you for watching.
may you find a nib that you really love and an ink that you love and encourages you to put ink on paper, share some thoughts. That's what it's all about. Hope this video finds you safe, healthy, and happy, enjoying your pens. It's the end of this video. We're going to say bye because I need to now enjoy this nib even more. Ah, beautiful.